Hey guys, what's going on? It's Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. I'm going to talk about something that I feel like will be really, really helpful, and it's a bit different to my normal videos. It's not about print on demand or Redbubble or whatever. It's actually going to be how to do uh, blog keyword research completely for free in 2021. So a lot of people, they want to pay for expensive tools, but you can actually do everything you need for free. So there's nothing, there's no need to pay for anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a niche and I'm going to show you how I would create a brief for a article. Okay, so I'm, I'm struggling to think of a niche, so I'm just going to use this, uh, nichehacks.com, 2,531 niches for affiliates. I wouldn't actually use this if I was um, creating my own but because I like to think of my own basically it's in my opinion if there's already a website on this if the, if the niche is on this website it's already too late kind of thing so yeah let's uh, let's just find one quickly um, okay so what I'm actually gonna do is I already know one um, one that I've been interested in for a while which is tie-dyeing if you don't know what tie-dyeing is it's creating this pattern um, it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. So what you would do is you would go on a Hrefs keyword generator. Okay, so I need to open this on incognito because I'm actually logged in. Okay, so we type in tie dye here. At the moment, we're just looking for the, a title, a, a main keyword to focus on, basically. So we type in tie dye here and we have a look. It's got really, it's got really really good volume honestly. So tie dye socks that's interesting to me. Oops. Oh actually, mm, okay. So how to? So this is one thing that I would like to mention already is that if you're creating a niche affiliate website in 2021 you need to be making YouTube content okay everyone else is so you need to if you want to compete with these guys you need to okay so this is one place where you can get a load of keywords from so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a notepad we're gonna copy those in they would make really really good um, headlines headers whatever and then we're gonna go to this as well and we're going to copy this and stick this here. And we're going to go on um, Ahrefs Keyword Generator again. And we're going to type in tie-dye socks this time. Oops. Okay, so again, we've got um, 100 keywords. So you can just copy these. No, you can't. Ah, oh, so much easier with the actual Ahrefs thing. So you're going to have to just work around this, guys. You're going to have to copy and paste it like this. And I'm going to put it in a fresh notepad. And you're just going to either have to go through. It's only 100 at the end of the day. It's really not that bad. And just do it like this, basically. I'll finish this. Oh, you can also do, um, wait, hang on. You can do... Okay, so I'm, I'm actually putting it in a Google document. And I'm going to do Control F and click here. And I'm going to put find 0 to 10. How has that not found anything? I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I am not even that good <laughs> with computers. I could have just done it like this. I just realized like part way through. There we go. That's so much better. <laughs> oh my, I'm going to leave that in just so you can, guys can see how um, stupid anyone can be, basically. Okay, uh, we're going to stick that also here. There we go. Right, so look at that. Look how many keywords that is, guys. And then you can, uh, you can look through these. You can find the ones that you want to use. Or you can do it like this. You can use these as headings. You can use these as subheadings. 
and you can use any of these that you find important or for example the ones that have a lot of volume so this would be a really good keyword keyword difficulty is two according to ahrefs 90 a month you make a youtube video on this you're golden okay this is possible with every single niche you just need to niche down that's the most important thing with affiliate marketing I don't know how long that was I feel like that was like 10 minutes and I would then just put this into a uh, brief I would create a brief like this for myself not for um, not for a writer I would just put it in a Google document obviously it's better to write in a Google document There we go. Okay, and then I would start here and I would just, I would use a listicle here. This would be a listicle or not even, it would be an ordered list, sorry, not an, un an ordered list. Whatever. You understand what I mean, right? Make sure it's actually a list. This isn't, but whatever. Um, how long do tags, this is just a flat out, like, two sentence answer so two sentence answer this you probably I would do this and I would search for Nike and I would see other ones and I'd make a whole section about doing it specifically for Nike socks or this could even be its own article in my opinion I would probably actually make this my own article because um, it would you would be able to rank more easily so I'd just delete these honestly and I would save them in another um, article you could probably mention it as well and then internally link this article what socks work best for tie-dye that's a perfect question to stick some Amazon affiliate links here with good answers um, YouTube content comparing best socks for tie-dye um, again th this is the same as this one so you can delete this uh, this is also the same. I think I copied and pasted incorrectly, or they're just the same. Uh, this is a good one. So you can talk about other methods, other uh, less conventional, well-known methods. And then if you look at this, you fill in this with the information, okay? Think about what works best. This is obviously going to be a list, step by step, okay? It's a list. So if you don't want to create a list for yourself, I can highly recommend Conversion AI. I'm not affiliated with them. I don't have an affiliate link with them, but I, ha I do use it for work and it's really, really good. And it would create this, I could create this article in 20 minutes, I would say. Okay, so you would look through here. Um, these are good, these are good. This is a bad keyword for us. Just look through yourselves, guys, okay? Look, video on how to make tie -dye. Make sure you're making video content, okay? If you want a successful affiliate marketing website in 2021, you've got to be making video content. Okay, really hope that helps, guys. If you write this article, you can forget about what Ahref says volume-wise here, okay? This is, a, this is a guess by Ahrefs. But the good thing about long-tail keywords is, like, if I zoom in a little bit, I'm not sure if you could see well, so I'll just zoom in. Um, something like custom tie-dye socks or lime green tie-dye socks. You could write an article about how to make them lime green. And then you can start ranking, like, really, really easily. Let's see what comes up. Make sure that, uh, as well, I didn't actually mention. I really should have mentioned, but this isn't really a, an entire guide. Uh, you should always check the SERP, and for example, this is a buyer keyword because it's Amazon, Amazon, Etsy, Etsy, you know, etc., etc. So you wouldn't use this keyword, okay? I don't know what this even means. Red and white tie-dye socks. This is probably another uh, buyer keyword. It is indeed. So you can remove buyer keywords. We're not interested in buyer keywords, okay? We're interested in how to make your own tie-dye socks because that's the point of an affiliate niche marketing website you could do like a top 10 best pink tie-dye socks or I, I don't know something like that from Amazon but yeah 
Okay, really hope that helps you out, guys. Don't pay for expensive tools unless you're working for a, a company, in which case it's worth it for the backlinks and things. Okay, see you in the next one. Peace out.